Don't worry people. I didn't die. Hello there. My name is Professor Goat, and today we're going to be talking about the cardiovascular system. And what does that have to do with me falling off the slide? This is the cardiovascular system. This system is all about circulating blood throughout the entire body. We're going to divide each part of the cardiovascular system and talk about them one by one. Starting it with blood. This is your blood. It is a red fluid found throughout your whole body. You've most likely seen your blood before. Like the time you got a paper cut. The inside of your blood includes the red blood cell, the white blood cell, the platelets, and plasma. Your blood's objective is to transport oxygen, deliver nutrients, and remove waste materials. It's kind of like a pizza delivery person that delivers oxygen and nutrients instead of pizza and works over time. And why is the blood red? Well your blood also contains a lot of hemoglobin, which is made up of subunits called herems, which bind with iron molecules. These subunits give blood its recognizable red color. It's also the reason why it tastes like iron. I don't know why I'm about to do this but... <coughs> I regret nothing. Anyways. Let's move on to the blood vessels. There are two main types of blood vessels. The arteries, and the veins. The arteries, which are the red ones, deliver oxygen-rich blood, which is transported from the heart to the tissues of the body. It's kind of like a tunnel. A tunnel for the pizza delivery guy to go through. Moving on to the veins, which are the blue ones, their goal is to carry out deoxygenated blood. The deoxygenated blood is transported from the tissues it was delivered to, right back to the heart. Just like the arteries, it's also like a tunnel. Except a tunnel that leaves the pizza delivery guy back home. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got Goat, this is a video about the cardiovascular system. Why do you keep on mentioning this pizza delivery guy when he has nothing to do with the cardiovascular system? I forgot to eat lunch. Whatever, just continue the video. The difference between the two, other than their color, is their internal walls. The walls of the arteries are thick and muscular. These thick walls help them withstand and absorb pressure waves which are transmitted from the blood. I must deliver the oxygen. And as for the veins, their walls are thin and flexible. Some people like to think that the blood inside the veins is blue. Those people are wrong. Do you understand Jimmy? Do you? Who the heck are you? The arteries and veins are connected by the capillary, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. And with that, we're all done with the blood vessels. Now we can move on to our third and final subject. It's the organ you've been waiting for. The godfather of the cardiovascular system. The one. The only. Heart. Yay! This is a heart. It's commonly used to symbolize love. We're not talking about that. We're obviously talking about the heart in your body, which is this little meat sack that's the size of a closed fist. Your heart plays the important role of pumping your blood throughout your whole entire body. Your heart is always working, and it never stops to rest. Your bones, they can relax for a bit. Your heart, no sir. Thing is, if your heart stops, then you die. The inside of your heart. Oh wait, hold on. The inside of your heart contains four separate chambers. The upper cavities are the atriums, from which blood is passed to the ventricles, which are the two main chambers of the heart. Each heartbeat is a series of rapid actions that allows blood to fill into the heart, and then be squeezed out to the lungs or somewhere else. I could talk about the process of a heartbeat, but I'm too lazy. So here's a picture instead. I'll give you a few seconds to enjoy its presence. However, like every other organ system, 
there's a disease or condition for it, and the cardiovascular system is no exception. These examples include cardiac arrest, arrhythmia, heart failure, pericarditis, coronary artery disease, aneurysm, varicose veins. And of course, no. heart attacks. Fortunately, there are many things you can do to reduce your chances of getting these diseases. With a proper diet and proper exercise, your chances of having these diseases are slim. In conclusion, the cardiovascular system is an important part of our body, and we need to take good care of it so it can continue to keep our body alive. I hope you found this entertaining, and maybe learned a few things. Now excuse me, I have some unfinished business to take care of.